Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to show report parameter values while displaying rows in the SSRS report. So this is a very common scenario when uh, we are passing some uh, parameter values maybe from the main report to the sub report and we want to run the sub report or the drill through report we want to display those uh, parameter values and uh, sometimes it's even just in the main report we want to display that values and uh, just uh, let the user know okay for w which parameters uh, they are taking a look on the records so let's go ahead and create that report now let me take you to SSMS and th there we have uh, our sale total uh, table in a sales database. If we execute uh, we can uh, see the records and we have different columns. I'm going to use the region or country in the parameter and then uh, we'll display those values in the report. Go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and uh, we already have created a report project. If you don't know how to create it you can watch my early uh, videos and how to create the data source as well. So click on the reports and add new item. Go to report and here we will say display parameter values add. Empty report will be created. Right click on the data sources, add a data source and we call this one DS sales. And we are going to use the shared data source. Click OK. Now go to data set and use our query and we have to call this one. I'm going to call this a D set total sale. It's a good idea to provide a nice name so you would know that which data source is doing what and uh, use the shared data source. Now paste your query. Let's make this uh, report parameterized. So we will be using region as our parameter and we'll say where region is equal to at the rate region name. So you can provide any name for your parameter. This is single value as we are using equal sign here. So if we will be using in clause then it will be multi value. So let's consider start with the single value and then we will go to multi value. Hit OK. Now next part will be insert a table and bring some fields so we can see them. And uh, I want to have product name and let's bring the region as well. So you will see that uh, when we pass the values if we are getting correct uh, records or not. So let's make this one a little big so we can see the header, change the color of header row. All good. Now let's preview our report. Now here we have to provide the parameter value to see the records. Let's provide the value Asia and now we will see all those uh, records uh, coming from Asia. Here we have displayed this column uh, but we can take this column out uh, and uh, provide only on top maybe say okay right now you are looking uh, the records uh, from Asia region. Uh, so that's what we want to do. Now go, go to design right click here and uh, insert a text box. Uh, inside the text box we will be using those uh, parameter value and writing expressions. Uh, right uh, click here go to the expressions uh, and now we can write the expression. So is equal to we can put double quotes here and say currently looking at so ne next part we will be adding uh, that uh, parameter. So let's go to the parameters and uh, here we have region name and uh, we'll say then uh, we add uh, another part. So we are kind of making uh, a sentence uh, say currently looking at uh, is your region. So let's uh, give some space records. You can write whatever you like. So so this is it. So I have added these uh, static values to the parameter and actually this is a value that will be coming uh, from the parameter itself. So whatever the value will pass this will be added to these uh, static uh, uh, words uh, and then uh, display to us. Uh, hit OK. Now we go ahead and later now if I will pr provide Asia here you will see currently looking at Asia region records. In this case we can remove this uh, Asia region column because we once we are displaying here we don't need to have it. But this was just to make sure if we are getting correct records. 
Now let's make this one a little uh, larger or uh, expand the size of this text box uh, so we can fit the things in. Also, we can go ahead and maybe change, uh, make it may, maybe make it bold and italic. And uh, let's see if we want to change the color. Let's say this this is the color on the background. If we want to change some color, we can go ahead and change that color. So make it a little more fancy. Now, if I will provide Europe, and we will see currently looking at Europe region records. So that's how we will be seeing these parameter values in the in the actual display of the report. Now, this is good when we are only having a single value parameter. Now, with this, I'm writing the values here. You can go ahead to the parameters and remember uh, how you can change or provide the values from the queries so always available values you can get um, values from the query create that uh, uh, data set here and uh, let me do real quick so you would know what i'm talking about but we have uh, already a video where i have created a data set so here i'm going to call this set region this data set is going to be used for the parameter it will give us distinct region names so i'm going to call select distinct region from DB of total sale and this value we can use in the parameter go to parameter values sorry properties parameter values and here coming from the region data set so we don't have to write every time so this is looking great now here is our drop down we can select any value what we like and we see those uh, uh, parameter values here looking at currently looking at Asia region records if we change to the Europe or North America we'll say, see that here as well now one more thing let's m make this one as a multi uh, value parameter so go to designer let's go to our query back so main query and here remember we have use is equal to now we are going to use in clause and have the parenthesis around the parameter name hit ok now one thing if we will preview the report uh, still uh, it is uh, displaying us a uh, single values uh, so if we will do this will this will work still the same way we have to go ahead and change the parameter properties uh, so parameter properties and here we have to tell uh, allow multiple values uh, that's how now this parameter will behave uh, as multi value parameter next uh, available values uh, everything is looking good we don't have to make any change hit ok and uh, let's uh, take a look Right now, if I will select Asia, what happened? Now, it, records are coming correct. So if we can go ahead and select multiple records as well. And by here in the parameter values, now it is not displaying those parameter values what we have selected here. So we need to change that expression. Uh, when we were using single value, we were having only one value. Now we have multi value. So it is a string. We have to kind of join each of the value. So we go to design, go back to the expressions. And here we have to use a, a, a method called the joiner. That's going to join each of the value that we will pass uh, to the parameter. And uh, then we can put a comma here. And then we have to tell like we want what we want here. We can maybe have a comma separated or uh, here I'm going to call it uh, and. So I want to use and after each of the value. So we are jo using join function and this is the value it is going to get uh, each value. And then we, it will be adding the keyword add, sorry, and and then uh, added the next value and keep doing it. So if we will select three values, it will say Asia and uh, Europe and uh, North America. So or if you like just a comma, as I said, you can put comma, if you would put colon, your choice, whatever you like. So you can go ahead and change it. Now hit OK. Let's preview the report and uh, provide only Asia first and see if it is coming correct. So currently looking at Asia region records. Now if we go ahead and change the Europe or add the Europe. So now we have two regions. Currently looking at Asia and Europe region records. And if I go ahead and select the North America or select all, now it will say, okay, currently looking at Asia and Europe and North America. So you you can go ahead and change a little bit uh, the way you want it. But this is the way you will be using uh, the text box uh, and writing expressions and using the parameter value, uh, parameter fields from here. So let me show you one more time. So here we, we will be using parameters and 
then uh, that's where your parameters will show up and uh, you can use them when you are using multi value parameter you have to join the values uh, so that's how you will be able to display those values uh, in the report uh, at uh, display time so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in the next video